Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. I'm trying a different view of the sanctuary today so that you can see the big blue beautiful earth banner that we have in the background. Uh, of course, this banner is in our sanctuary for our season of creation worship. Today I'm reflecting with you on two paintings that I saw in the San Francisco Modern Museum of Art and they are by Mexican artist Minerva Cuevas, and she was born in 1975 in Mexico City. So here they are on the screen now for you. And you might wanna stop the video for a minute and take some time to reflect on them yourself before you listen to the rest of what I have to share. Uh, see what kind of emotion they evoke in you and uh, what they make you think of. The one on the left is titled Flores Sea, and the one on the right is titled Overseas, and they were new additions to the collection in the San Francisco Museum of Art. When I, I try to look at paintings and then read the artist's statement about them, but of, of course I imagine uh, they evoke for you much of what they evoked for me, a... Um, uh, an image of an oil tarnished beach. It made me think of the oil spills that we have heard over the past decades washing up onto our shores. Um, the paintings made me feel uh, heavy and the juxtaposition between the graceful waves and the just um, hard heaviness of the tar that's on the bottom of the paintings was jarring and I appreciate the artists bringing attention to the pollution of our oceans and her desire to, I believe, see some change happen by bringing that to our attention. The two paintings are found paintings. She doesn't do the seascapes herself, but she finds them. So I appreciate the emphasis on recycling. and. Uh, the artist statement uh, is, goes like this. Since 2014, Cuevas has worked with found paintings of seascapes, dipping them in heated chapapote, the Nahu Nahuatl term for naturally occurring tar. Nahuatl is uh, an indigenous tribe in uh, Mexico, I have learned. The resulting drips recall the fluid nature of petroleum, which is refined into highly sought after goods like gasoline and plastics. These works consider the proliferation of crude and refined petroleum across Mexico, alongside the nation's long entanglement with colonial and present day resource extraction. By obscuring our view of the seascape, Cuevas juxtaposes romantic notions of the ocean with the realities of the current environmental crisis, suggesting the destructive effects of the encroachment of humankind and the oil industry into native ecologies. So those are pretty dark paintings, and we've had two weeks of thinking about the suffering of creation in worship. This week, I hope to have worship, we hope to have worship, that leads us toward hope, for it's only when we can have hope that we can act. People without hope don't act because they don't see any possibility of a different future. But those of us who still have hope for a different future can act because we work toward that future for which we hope. So we're hoping, we're hoping that worship this Sunday will be an opportunity for us to reflect in hope and in on the promises that God makes to us for the redemption of all creation. So we hope to see you Sunday and thanks for listening today and reflecting on those paintings with me. Bye.